Hello everyone, it's Romulee back with another episode of Undertale. So, uh, where we last left off, we faced Toriel and escaped the ruins. Uh, then we, you know, arrived in, uh... Okay, what's this called? Snowden. That's right, the town is called Snowden Town. So we were at a Snowden and met two skeletons, Sands of Papyrus. They're very funny. Hopefully my voices aren't too bad for them. But, what? I swear. Alright, I got stressed into view. Alright, we'll start our video off with our first battle. Um, let's ignore him. You managed to take your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? <laughs> my hat's up here. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll compliment his hat. It is a pretty cool hat. Duh, who doesn't know? <laughs> Stupid human. Wait, I thought that's all we had to do. Alright, let's see going. <laughs> Better a hatter than a hater. Well, can't fault him for that logic. But with that, it's done. And we got 13 gold. So, let's continue our journey. What do we got here? It's a fish rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. <laughs> Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decided not to call. <laughs> oh. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Eh. Yeah. Well, what's going on? What were you saying about Undyne? I mean, I don't mean to eavesdrop, but... Sans! Oh my god! Is that... a human? <laughs> uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey. What's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it. Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular! <clears throat> I'll tell you, you gotta get your game face on. Don't wanna let us know you're too excited. Human! You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus... We'll stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Then! Ah, I'm not sure what happens. Uh, that! I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare! Yeah! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Thanks, Sans. You're the bayest. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, that stone drink again. I always forget how to do his his thing. Yeah, I've heard that one. Yada yada. Hey! You watch yourself. Smiling at its own bad joke. Well, let's laugh. What? That's not true. That is that isn't true. I thought I thought I did it right. Ugh. Why do I keep messing this up? This is why I know it likes you, Snow Drink. Uh, check. Better not snow flake out. Okay, now we cloud. So you check, then you laugh, and then you're good to go. Ugh. Wet pillows. <laughs> yes, yes. Remarkable taste in jokes. Thank you. Now get out of here, Snow Drake. Anyways, let's get to. Huh? Uh oh. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I could only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. 
Let's bet him. Oh. Don't move an inch. Okay. <laughs> what? I've been pet! All too easy. Cool pants, bro. So, so there's something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. And with that, someone's been smoking dog treats. And with that, oh, that boss fight is over. Hey, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about a blue stop sign. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Sans. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I can't, I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far. Thank you. Good luck. Now, apparently I always did this wrong. Like, I, I took the piece and, like, put it in the box. And I guess that's not how you're supposed to do things. So, let's, uh, we'll try to keep it in our inventory. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! Uh, I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, or sound like fun, because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Sads! What did you do? Uh, I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh! Okay. Yeah, anyone who's played Metal Gear Solid, I'm sure this kind of gives you PTSD. Hold this, please! I wonder where we go. Okay, try now. I actually wonder, can... Hold on. Okay, you, you cannot just walk around. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Mm -hmm. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you saw him just fly back? That was cool. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? <laughs> yes, Papyrus is the best, isn't he? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Hmm. I'll buy two. You have a super duper day yourself. Come on. Yep, yep, come on. No! No, I'm failing! I was doing good, but now I'm failing. Here. Dang it. No, stop. No! Stop going this direction. Urgh. Just go. Gotcha. <laughs> Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded two gold. Well, that's nice. Oh, hey, buddy. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just five gold. Uh, did I say five? I, I meant fifty. Really? How about fifty thousand? Or uh, five thousand? Fifty thousand gold. That's my final offer. Yeah, g give it to me. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. Uh, Sands, looks like there's quite a lot of snow. 
Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy, blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans. <laughs> Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Well, that's real nice, okay? You know, sure, humans, you know, trapped you underground however long ago, but don't, don't take it out on me. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. <laughs> I said it before, I'll say it again. I love the humor of this game. Human! I hope you're ready for... Sans! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. <sighs> Alright, let's see what he can do. Solved it. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hottest. What? Really? <laughs> oh, what? Really, dude? That's easy peasy. Uh, that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Oh, un <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Uh. Ha! <laughs> yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> no problem. Papyrus, he's such a precious character. It's a note from Papyrus. <clears throat> Human! Please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly cheeked again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus. Well, I do like spaghetti. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Well, if I could plug it in, I could heat up the spaghetti. But it's stuck to the table. So I guess there's nothing I can do. There's the mouse. Oh, let's save real quick. You are filled with determination. And I hope all of you watching at home are filled with determination too. On top of having a, you know, a, a wonderful day. Uh oh, the lesser dog. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess old pet. <laughs> You'll have to do a little better than that, doggo. And we're done. A decisive victory for us. Oh, so I'm starting to get a bit more congested from the last video. I do apologize. Alright, we found that secret button. And now let's uh, head over here. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. I'll use this opportunity to take a sip of water. <sighs> hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! It's not very nice. <laughs> Doggy. Uh, mm. we'll roll around. If you remember what that sign said, you want to smell like a puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Ha 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 ha! You fools! And now let's roll around for Dagarissa. I see through your attacks. Uh... 
Love right. Oh. Now for Dagami. Oh. Oh, so I gotta. I gotta pet him. Wow, pet by another pup. I think it's funny because you know when you oh oh I almost got hit. When you pet one, if there's two dogs and you pet one, the other one's like, what the hell? <laughs> A dog that pets dogs, amazing. Wow, 40 gold. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Well, we handled that very non-violently. Papyrus, you have to try a little harder than that. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Uh, I ate it. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I would have eaten it had it not been frozen solid. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad he Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah, that's like Papyrus. Sands would be lost. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is... Worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Thanks, Papyrus. Hey, hey, hey! That's close enough. Even though I've solved this a hundred times, I always get... Uh... All too easy. Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible! I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> Maybe. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Sense of Papyrus, you two are something else. Hey! It's the human! You're all gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Elphis. You see... Oh. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Uh, yeah, I get it. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle. 
is entirely random. Oh, sorry, I needed a sip of water after that. When I pull this switch, it'll make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, <laughs> get ready. All right, Papyrus, let's do what you can throw at me. I'm ready for anything. There is no puzzle on the face of this planet that I cannot best. <laughs> oh, Papyrus, we've all been there. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. Hey, little guy. This dog is staring frankly, uh, blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Oh, well, everyone. <laughs> I hope my voices aren't too annoying. Uh, I know starting this series is kind of iffy, considering... You know, how long it's been out, how many people have played it, and how, you know, some people view the fan base. But I hope, yeah, you can at least have fun watching me play it. But I'll end it right here. What's the time? Perfect. 22 minutes. Just like the length of an anime episode. This has been Robbie Lee. Uh, <clears throat> feel free to like and subscribe if you're so inclined. And hit that little bell if you're also inclined. But... I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.